back pain off to the side can be very frustrating and very painful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the pain that you're having right here. Check it out. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Bridge. I'm a chiropractor in Helena, Montana. This channel is dedicated to helping you live the life that you have designed. One of the biggest causes of pain in that area in your lower back, off to one side, is your quadratus lumborum muscle, or the QL for short. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to warm it up and massage it. I'm gonna show you how to release it. I'm gonna show you how to stretch it. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to strengthen it. Um, you're gonna get the best results if you do exactly how I show you uh, in this exact order. I'm showing it to you uh, in this way for a reason. Uh, so stay tuned, and I really think this is gonna be able to help you out. Okay, for this first strategy, we're gonna need a wall and a foam roller. You're gonna take the foam roller and you're going to place it just off to the side of your spine, uh, right below your shoulder blade. And before pressing that into the wall, bend your knees down and then lean up against the wall and then putting your pressure back into that foam roller, roll that down your back as you're standing up it's going to roll down your your back and it's going to really provide some good massage to that ql muscle uh, it's also warming those muscles up for what we're going to do next so that's why i really want you to start with this and then do it again come down lean against it and then all the way up uh, depending on how much you uh, are feeling you need that's how much strength you want to lean into this foam roller if it's really tender you're just going to barely put your, your weight into it. However, if you feel like you can take it, you can really lean back into this and you're going to get a much deeper massage. That's how you take it to the next level. Do that 10 times and for symmetry's sake, do it on both sides. All right, now that those muscles are nice and warmed up, find yourself a flat space and we're also going to still need a foam roller and a pillow. I want you to imagine that you're dividing your torso up into four quadrants. So the left and the right side with a line right down the middle, and then the top and the bottom with a line right through your stomach, for example. Uh, we, if I was having pain off to the left side of my lower back, I'm going to be laying down on that flat surface, and this foam roller is going to be going right under my hip or my upper thigh on the left side. Um, on my upper body, I'm going to be taking this pillow and I'm going to be rolling it up and I'm going to be laying on it on my upper right side onto this quadrant. And what that's doing is that's bringing my hip and my, my left hip and my right shoulder back and closer together, shortening this muscle. And if we can leave this QL in a shortened state for a period of time, a lot of times it's just going to shut off those pain signals that it's freaking out and sending to the brain. It's going to relax. It's going to relax the nerves and the muscles and you can be feeling better within 90 seconds. So first I'm going to take this pillow. I'm going to double it over. I'm going to put it right here on my upper right quadrant. And then with the foam roller, that's going under my upper thigh, left hip. And I'm struggling here, but you're going to position it to where you feel that you're shortening that muscle. And then you just relax for 90 seconds and let gravity do its job. All right, once again, uh, we're targeting the left side of our lower back. Stretching both sides is gonna be fantastic, but uh, to go along with what I was saying before, uh, if you're having pain on that lower left side of your back, come up next to a door frame and placing both feet against that door frame with your left arm, reach up as high as you can, and then take these hips and drive them out this way. And instantly I can feel a lot of stretching, mostly right here on my side. However, if I turn my hips more in, then I feel like I can really identify and search out those muscle fibers that are more tender uh, in that QL area and get a really good stretch and you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. All right, we've massaged, we've released, we've stretched. Lastly, we really need to strengthen this. That's what's gonna be very key for long-term results here. Uh, once again, the QL muscle brings our body to the side and back some. Uh, a very fantastic way to strengthen that is by doing a side plank. So for those that aren't familiar with a side plank, coming onto your side, straightening out your legs, 
Uh, put your elbow right under your shoulder and lift your hips up off the ground. Gravity is bringing my hips down, forcing my quadratus, quadratus lumborum to engage, and this is gonna build some really good endurance into that muscle. Start with 15 seconds uh, to 30 seconds, uh, and you're gonna build up as you can. <clears throat> you're gonna to wanna to work your way up to what's comfortable. Really, we're going until this muscle gets really tired, um, but if you can get up to a minute or a minute and a half, that's gonna be a really good sign that those lateral muscles, your QL, is getting very good endurance, and it's gonna be able to support you through your activities of daily living. Now on top of that, like I said, we want long-term results here. We wanna fix this problem. And you gotta to go to the root of what is, a, what is it that you're actually doing in your daily life that's causing this. So if you had an injury that's very apparent and you know what you did you, to hurt that muscle, um, then that's obvious. But a lot of times we're left scratching our head because we don't really know exactly what's going on. So if you're somebody who you know, sits with, or stands with a hip swung out to the side, that could be something. If you sit with bad posture, leaning over one way or another, um, carry a three by five note card in your back pocket or take out an app on your phone. And when you're feeling pain in that position, write down what you are doing. And going through your day like that is gonna help you to be able to focus in and hone in on what did I do to screw this up to make this angry. And once you can identify and eliminate that, then you're not gonna have that micro trauma constantly stressing that muscle out, causing that pain in your lower back. You eliminate that, and then you do everything that I've showed you in this video, and you can get rid of this for good. I really hope that what I showed you in today's video was able to help you with your QL pain, with that pain off to the side of your back. Uh, this is a smaller channel, which gives me the time and the ability to answer all the questions and engage with different comments. So. Uh, if you do have something for me, go ahead and leave it in the comments section and I'll be sure to chat with you. Thanks.